Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is still morning, it's only 11.08. It's beautiful. I'm sitting here with my water trying to drink some. I guess I already had my coffee. There's such a mess behind me. I should clean that up. Um, but I'm just kind of doing some work and I'm actually being kind of cheeky and looking at outfits online because Dua Lipa, the concert that I'm going to in a month, is coming up real quick and I kind of want to wear a cute outfit so I've been browsing. Not great, but um, I found some good stuff on Dynamite and I've actually never ordered anything from them so I think I'm going to place an order and then we can try things on and see how it goes when it comes and then I'll just like obviously return things that don't work out so that's kind of what I've spent my morning doing which is um not the top of my priority list but you know that's what happens okay so far I really like this little satin dress and I don't have anything like it so I was kind of curious about that love this bustier top love the pink color and then I saw this top which is a faux leather like tube top and then the matching pants and this model has it on as like a full outfit and I thought that that could be kind of cool kind of looks like a jumpsuit altogether. these pants usually have a hard time fitting my body shape so we're gonna just try it and see I was craving pancakes for breakfast so I'm using this mix and for my milk I'm actually trying out the matcha almond I've done the Trader Joe's like lavender blueberry in pancakes and waffles and it's been really good but I wanted to see how this one would be while I'm waiting for my pancakes to cook I decided to clean out the fridge and I realized that we have to grocery shop because all we have in here is like beverages and spinach and like one egg left so I need to place a grocery order ASAP these have got to be the flattest least fluffy pancakes I've ever made in my entire life they're so ugly and I put um, butter on the skillet for the first one and it like bent the corners which I'm actually okay with because you guys know I like burnt stuff but um yeah these pancakes are pancakes are like the least cute ones I've ever made but hopefully they taste okay obviously I'm gonna put stuff on top of them but just thought I'd show you how non-cute they are <laughs> okay so before I ate breakfast I threw in my white shoes so I have my Allbirds and my Converse here that I threw in the wash and I also threw in my Lululemon belt bag. I've never washed this before and I was really hoping because it was getting a little little grimy So I'm hoping that this comes out a little bit cleaner and it's a nice day out So I feel like I'm going to go put these outside on the deck to dry in the Sun I feel like these came out pretty clean though And I just washed them with regular powdered tide from Costco. I mean, they're not like perfect But they're definitely like a lot a lot better than they were this part's definitely a lot cleaner hello it's around like three o'clock now almost three and i just finished filming a everyday makeup routine because i was looking back on my instagram and it had been a full year since i did one of these videos over there and so i'm gonna put it on instagram and tiktok and my makeup products that i use every single day and like a lot of the technique and stuff i do now is quite different so um yeah i shared all of that in that video that now i need to edit and i decided that i'm gonna have to voice it over so i'll have to do that i'm really tired today even though the sun is out um so i'm drinking a celsius this one is definitely my favorite the peach mango green tea i'm like halfway done but yeah that's kind of what i spent the past hour doing had to take a thumbnail picture for it i actually took a tumble on the weekend when i was drunk trying to get into an uber super embarrassing i cannot handle it and i will spare you the image um but the scrape on my knee is so large and so gross and i'm just like letting it marinate in polysporn right now and i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do later because it's like in a lot of pain and i really probably shouldn't be like dancing on it and stuff but knowing me i'll just like bandage it up and like push through <laughs> probably shouldn't do that but yeah it really hurts and so i'm just like wearing shorts and like hoping that this like heals itself because it looks nasty right now and i like called my mom i was like what do i do it's like pussing <laughs> sorry for the image um but yeah i'm dealing with that i also anxiously when i was hungover picked off all of my nails so natasha if you're watching this i'm so sorry don't come for me um my nail tech and um yeah they look absolutely awful but i kind of wanted to give my nails a bit of a break and like a breather because i've had um like gel x on them for quite a while and so they're pretty brittle and like some of them are just like absolute trash like this one is like where is it nobody knows it's gone it's uh kind of painful so I'm just kind of a mess at the moment, um, but now that I have my makeup done, I feel a lot better. I think I'm gonna clip my hair back up and uh, get editing this because I don't have a reel to go up tomorrow. And normally I post a um, like mini vlog, but I didn't really film anything this week. These big clips from Ulta have been amazing. They hold all of my hair in that cute fashion. I don't know if that's like actually cute, but it works when I'm trying to do stuff because I hate having my hair down. So 
yeah, I also have to put all of my makeup away and just, you know, get back to work. I found an Uber gift card, so I treated myself to my favorite salad from Field and Social. It's the Songy's chicken thighs. Salad. I don't know. It's delicious though, and I'm really excited because I'm very hungry. That salad was so good and filled me up so much. I hadn't had it in so long. Highly recommend if you're in Vancouver. Field and Social is amazing. I wanted to share with you some of the new products I got in. We'll do a quick little PR haul. First thing is from Used to the People. They always send the coolest packaging, and so it came in this box, which then opened to this box, which then had the actual product box, and then the product is actually over here. So this is their new retinol and niacinamide use serum. It's a smooth and transform elevated with adaptogens and ceramides, and it's actually yellow, which is really cool. I'll show you guys. I've used it a couple times already. So far, so good but it literally comes out yellow, which is kind of cool. It doesn't stain your skin yellow, but it does leave a little bit of yellow unless you like really rub it in, which is good because then you know it's worked into your skin anyway. So yeah, I've been using this a couple times a week. It says to use one to two times a week to start and then every other night because it is um, like a retinol product. So I will continue using this and I just, I love Youth to the People products so much. They're always such hits for me and my skin and yeah, I'm really excited to try this out more. I'm gonna go wipe this off. And also I just love how their package is just full of information and tidbits and like little things. They're very creative over there. Next up is a new product from Biosance and I feel like I haven't had Biosance PR in quite a few years but it's one of my favorite skincare brands as well. I love their oil, their squalene oil um, and this is their squalene and copper peptide rapid pumping serum and this one is blue. So skincare has just taken a turn lately and they're just adding fun colors to things. I'm sure it's natural but yeah this is what it looks like and then it has a little dropper and then it's like this nice blue color. So I'll be sure to give this a try. Benefit sent over this cute reusable little pouch. It says you've got the bag and it can be like a little makeup kind of like bin or it can be like a bag that ties up which is really cool and they sent over some of their concealers. This one's not new. This is their Boing Cakeless Concealer. I believe this one came out quite a few years ago and it's a good one. I haven't used it in a while but I do remember really liking it. And then these are the new ones. These are the Boing Bright On Concealer and I just love the packaging. There are little pencils in it. So cute. And lastly, I got in some natural deodorants from Human Essentials. This is a local to Vancouver brand, which is really cool. Also too, these are natural deodorants that are meant for sport, which is great because I'm sure if you've tried natural deodorant, you know they're just not as strong as regular deodorant. So I'm very excited to put these to the test and see if they will withstand me dancing. And they sent two different scents, coconut guava and sea salt and the desert lime mandarin and vanilla flower. Very cool packaging, 100% biodegradable. And it's very cool the way this works because you just peel off a layer when you want more deodorant. It's very, very smart, very innovative, and it smells really good. So I'm excited to try those. It is now Thursday evening and we are at the Herschel store in Gastown for a calligraphy workshop, which I'm so excited. I'm here with Kelly. Hi. Hi. And I'm here with Brady. Hi. And we're drinking these drinks. They're vodka <laughs> like iced teas and it's by the brand We Drink Tea. They're new to like Alberta and BC and they're so cute and they taste so good. I'm so Lovely impressed. Lovely tea beverage called Vancouver, BC. There we go. That's what I mean. Amazing. It's uh, delicious. Highly recommend. I'm gonna learn calligraphy. There is a whole like raised table behind us and yeah, I'm super excited. I've always wanted to learn calligraphy, so this is going to be a, a good little lesson. Welcome to Monday morning. It's been a minute since I vlogged or at least since the last clip, but I spent this entire weekend um, doing dance stuff and then I also cleaned out my closet or rather you guys saw me clean out my closet. I actually dealt with all the things that I was getting rid of. And so I have a ton of new listings up on Poshmark, like a ton. I think there's over like 25 new items. So if you are Canadian and want to shop my closet, then I will have a link down below. I also have a discount code and I always send out a free full-sized item with every order. So yeah, that was dealt with yesterday, which was really, really nice. I'm so happy to have that done. But that also means now I have a bunch of like random clothes just like waiting to be bought. So yeah, 
that was um, a nice check off of my list. I also filmed a like Sunday reset routine on TikTok and Instagram reels. And that kind of shows you guys what I got up to last night. I got this Mindful Affirmations box set from a PR gift and I have been loving pulling like a daily or weekly affirmation. This is the one that I pulled for the weekend. It says my body and mind are healthy and vibrant, which was actually super relevant and I loved it. And yeah, I thought that maybe every vlog we could pull a new one. I was gonna do it at the beginning of the vlog and then totally forgot. And so yeah, they look like this from the brand Intelligent Change. And they're the same ones that do my productivity planner as well, which is really cool and so I've just been kind of taking one from the middle putting the old one on top keeping it nice in the box I do also like that it comes with like the stand and everything it's super cute so this is today's affirmation I radiate positive energy from my being and that's actually kind of relevant because I feel like I woke up in a really positive mindset the time change has a huge huge effect on the way I feel and even though it's rainy and stuff I just feel like having and knowing the sunlight is going to be out longer really 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 improves my mood so yeah I like that one and I also like that it's like pretty neutral colored so if I have it over here it kind of matches everything and then I just tuck these like behind um, my books you can't really see them but yeah it's been really fun and I really like just having something fun to pull like that every single day and I feel like they're not super super cheesy they're pretty like neutral if that makes sense so yeah I'm gonna hop into my meeting and I will talk to you guys after. Also, if you guys are into Liquid IV just as much as I am and you haven't tried the strawberry flavor and you like it, highly recommend, I'm obsessed. It is so good. I crave it like every day now. I genuinely feel like every time I'm about to wash my hair, I'm like, you know what? Should I just like go to bed early and wash my hair in the morning? And it's never a good idea because I end up sleeping in and not washing my hair. So I'm gonna do it. It's gonna take half an hour from start to finish to wash my hair to blow drying. We're just gonna get it done and then we can tuck into bed and it's gonna be great. And I just really need to pump myself up for that because I do not wanna wash my hair right now at all, but it really needs it. And just like that, I am freshly out of the shower. It feels so good. I put um, a fresh layer of tan on. I used the Isle of Paradise, this like spray tan, and I just refilled it with the dark version. I've only used the medium and so We'll see how it goes. I do have a pretty decent existing tan already and I wanted to see how it layered. So we'll see about that. My hair looks crazy. <laughs> and then in the shower, I used Bondi Boost today, but I've been using this new line from Kerastase. Again, they sent me this product. The shampoo and conditioner and the mask are in my shower and they're amazing. It's their Chroma Absolute line and it's an anti-frizz, antioxidant, thermic, thermic serum. Sensitized or damaged color treated hair. This serum... Is really good it's a great spray but the shampoo conditioner hair mask all of that and there's even like a anti-green mask which is really cool the whole line just smells absolutely amazing and so when I opened it I had to try it right away and like the past three showers I've had I've used those products and then today I use Bondi Boost but yeah highly recommend if you guys are into bougie hair products this line from Kerastase is a win for me I really really enjoy it also Abercrombie pajamas and menswear are superior this is a men's shirt from Abercrombie but I just I love their stuff so much it's so comfy so it's actually like a couple days later and I'm going to end off this vlog by doing a try on haul because all of the items that you guys saw me purchase at the beginning of the video actually already came and so I can do a try on haul for you guys and I'm just ready to wrap this vlog up because I've been so disorganized with my vlogging lately that I just need to get back on track and film something in the more reasonable time and not span it over like a week and a half so anyway let's do the haul okay starting off we have the pink corset which is so stinking cute it's so so pretty I like that it has adjustable straps and I feel like it's gonna fit really well. Also too, I like that the zipper in the back is pink as well and it just like matches really nicely. I have a feeling if I were to wear this to the concert though, this has probably been advertised to everyone in the area and there'll probably be like 50 other girls wearing it, but it's really cute, so hopefully it fits well. Okay, here's what the pink top looks like. It is so cute, the size fits really well. This is a medium for reference and with the adjustable straps, I feel like it is shaped really well I can like tighten it if I feel like this is like a little bit too loose obviously I'm not wearing a bra with it but it's so cute and comfy I don't totally love the corsets that have like a super deep like thing here I don't know there's just something that just seems off to me on that maybe it's like just I don't know it looks kind of silly to me anyway this one fits nice I love the shape of it I'm obsessed with the color I love it with my brown hair my brunette hair rather and um I'm definitely keeping this 
Also too, I should let you know there is a matching skirt that goes with this. It just wasn't totally my style, but if you're into that, check it out. Next up is the matching set. So this is the tube top. It's a really nice material. I like that it has like the little um, cinching detail and it does have like a rubber grip on the tube top, which is really nice. And then it has like some pleating in the back to give it a little bit of shape. I hope this fits. I definitely thought it was gonna be a little bit like brighter cream. I feel like it's definitely leaning more beige, but I really do like the color of it. Don't have high hopes for these because I feel like these types of pants just never really fit my body shape, but we'll see. They are super cute. They're very similar to like the Aritzia pants and also the Abercrombie. They're a nice like comfy pleather, so we'll see. And here is the two piece set. I did just eat avocado toast, so I'm feeling a little bit tight in this section, but I feel like I'm impressed that these pants fit for one because normally, like I said, these pants don't normally fit me and they're super comfy. They're very stretchy. And like I said, they're a little bit tight, but overall, like the fit of them is actually really nice. And I wish they had them in black. I don't think they do. And when you tuck in this tube top, it's actually like a little bit longer. It looks like a full jumpsuit. So yeah, I'm not too sure. I did put this on with some pink heels. These are just from Zara. And if I were to wear this outfit to the concert, I feel like I would wear the pink heels. But let me know your thoughts on this. If anything, I'll probably keep the pants and return this. But then having a full set is kind of nice. I don't know. I'm confused. Not too sure. Does it look okay? What are our thoughts on this? And lastly, we have the dress. So I love the detailing on the front of this with the like lace and then the little peekaboo in the center. This is really cute. And then the slit is on the right side. The material is really nice and it feels really like flowy, but also like very form fitting, if that makes sense. And the straps on this are adjustable as well. All right. And lastly, we have this dress, which in theory would be amazing, but I just don't think it's it. I don't think it fits my body nicely because it's kind of like tight in this area and I'm already self-conscious about that area. And it just is going to like ride up. And also this is like super loose. The straps are adjustable and that is nice. But even if I were to size up for like this area, this would then be even bigger so I think this is a no but like I said in theory this is like a cute dress I just wish it was you know proportioned differently but that's okay you win some you lose some I think this is where I'm going to leave you so I can get my life sorted and organize my vlogging a bit better so I hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in my next video have a great day bye